So in case you didn't know, the CW, you know, the network that's home to Batwoman <laughs> and several other shows, uh, it's for sale. Why is it for sale? Probably because it's just shedding cash left and right. All of the ratings for the shows on the CW are in the toilet. The network is on life support. So Warner, they want to sell it. Who's going to buy it? I don't know. It'll be funny to see. And then do they get to keep using, you know, Warner properties and stuff with their network? That's a question that I have that I don't know if they're going to give an answer to or not, but the network's in trouble. So what do they do? Well, naturally, they double down. So a Zorro drama with female lead from Robert and Rebecca Rodriguez is coming. Now, maybe it'll be good. Uh, Robert Rodriguez is a very talented man. Made a lot of really great stuff. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Uh, Zorro is heading to the CW. The Young Skewing Network has put in development a gender-swapped reimagining of the classic masked vigilante character from filmmaker Robert Rodriguez and writer-director Rebecca Rodriguez. Uh, that's It has a show coming. A bunch of other people, but who cares? Uh, this is a new incarnation of the project, which was in development at NBC during the 2021 cycle with Treta as a new addition to his brother and sister writing team of Robert and Rebecca Rodriguez. So apparently this is going to be not so much about, uh, it's something about legacy. Like they want to outlaw Zorro and this woman takes up the mantle. I don't care if the show is good. It's good. The reason that I'm bringing this up is because in the network's marketing for the show, they say this co-penned by the trio and by the trio and to be directed by Rebecca Rodriguez and Zorro, a young Latinx woman seeking vengeance for her father's murder, joins a secret society and adopts the outlaw persona of Zorro. You know where they messed up? Using Latinx or Latin, uh, Latinx or however you say it. Uh, I've went over this before many times. Uh, I just want to point this out for context because it's mostly it's mostly white people that push Latinx, uh, woke white people. They think that they're being brave for Latino people or something. They're trying to press this on them to make Spanish more gender inclusive. Uh, they don't like this term. In fact, they find it offensive. And there's plenty of shit to back this up. I've, I've done a couple videos on this. Many Latinos say Latinx offends or bothers them. Here's why. I mean, you can look this article up if you want to read it. Uh, here's something from Pew Research. Uh, about one in four U.S. Hispanics have heard of Latinx but just 3% use it. Uh, there's another one. This one's an older article. Latinx is not a preferred term among Hispanics. Survey says they don't like this. In fact, they find it offensive because from what I understand, it's hard to even pronounce this word in their language. But they find it offensive. In fact, many of them call it a racial slur. Uh, so the, the using this in your marketing is already a failure. And right now over on Twitter, uh, Latinx is trending. You know why it's trending? Because of this post right here, which is ratioed. And I believe the deadline post as well has it. So they put it right here. Uh, Robert and Rebecca Rodriguez are bringing Zorro to the CW. A young Latinx woman seeking vengeance for her father's murder joins a secret society and adopts the outlaw persona of Zorro. And all already, like Latinx right here is trending because people don't like that term. But they keep using it. What does that say? Like, this is this is my problem with this. It's like you have you have Latinos and Hispanics saying, we don't like this. Please stop using it. But companies just keep using it anyway. That's like they don't care about the feelings of the people they're supposedly trying to say. Oh, uh, we want to make this better for you. Like they're forcing it on them. It's it's really strange and should go against the teachings of the woke white people. 
because I believe they would call this like colonizing or something. Like they're being colonizers, forcing them to use this pronoun or whatever, this this term that they don't want to use. They don't like it. If you look at the quote tweets on this, it's nonstop people saying, stop using this. Like, when will these corporations finally realize that Latinx is a slur? And this one's pretty funny. I've actually saved this one on my phone. <laughs> like, stop trying to make Latinx a thing. It's already being rejected wholesale, and any further use is literally ignoring the wishes of the community you're claiming to represent. The Hispanic community do not use the word Latinx. What part what what part of that do you humans not understand? Latinx is a term that originates in white academia. It's impossible to say in our language. It's not what I identify as. And it's a term that my family, my friends, and every Latino Hispanic that I know outside of law school rejects. Latinos aren't dogs. You can't name us. This one says, what a racist headline. Like, it's nonstop. Everybody in the quote tweets is dragging this post. And it's so bad that it's actually trending on Twitter right now. I don't know when they're going to learn. It's almost like they're pushing it on them. And they they like, we don't care how you feel. You using this term makes us feel better. So we're going to, we're going to keep pushing it. It's just, it's really, it's just a strange thing. So. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out.